Introducing the Double Crown Senate. It's Nicole here and welcome to Bochi Not Macrame. In this tutorial, we will be going over another knot pattern as a part of our macrame knots and knot pattern series. Over the next few months, we will be releasing two knots or knot patterns weekly so that it can help you along your macrame journey in creating your own macrame designs. In this tutorial, I will be going over what's called a double crown senate. So we're just talking about an individual crown knot. This is the first knot we will be making to start this senate pattern. And then to form a double crown senate, all we have to do is repeat the crown knots underneath. In the end, this pattern sort of looks like a sideways square knot pattern. If you guys are in need of a unique pattern other than your usual square knot pattern, this is it. For more beginner-friendly macrame resources, you guys can head on over to boshinot.com for our free downloadable 50 Senates and Knots ebook. And with that said, let's get right into it. To demonstrate the double crown Senate, I have attached two strands of cord at 200 centimeters long each onto the dowel with lark set knots. I've chosen to use two different colored cords for this demonstration. You can use two different colors or make them both the same color. To begin the first knot, take the first and third cord from the left and bring them over the cords next to them on the right side. The middle two cords here are going to be the anchor cords. Now take that far right cord to the back just like how we make a square knot, but this time we're bringing the cord over the far left cord. Now taking that left vertical cord, we're going to bring it over to the right and through the far right loop. Then pull on both cord ends to tighten. We will now repeat the exact same pattern. So starting with the first and third cords from the left, bring it over the cords next to it on the right. Now we have two new middle cords. Take that far right cord to the back, over the far left cord, then take the left cord, bring it through the loop on the right. And then pull on the cord ends to tighten. Once you're finished with this knot, you can see that we've made a little crown knot. And now we're just going to continue repeating the same pattern below. Continue repeating this several more times until you have reached your desired length. Once complete, this is what the pattern should look like. It's sort of like a sideways square knot. If you use one color to make this double crown senate, this is what the pattern should look like on the right. And that concludes our double crown senate knot pattern. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are interested and are feeling ready to proceed on to the next step from beginner to intermediate and advanced so that you can create your own stunning macrame designs, the obvious and natural next step is to practice knot patterns and other unique designs so that you have the knowledge of certain knot patterns you can incorporate into your pieces. If you guys want to fast track this process in getting from beginner to advanced, 
so that you can create your own design sooner. We do release weekly tutorials over on our Bochi Not Macrame community on Patreon targeted at certain knotting skills and techniques to help get you there sooner. If you guys are interested in learning more, you guys can head on over to patreon.com slash bochinot for more details. Let me know what you guys thought of this scented pattern in the comment section below and how you would incorporate this knot pattern into your own macrame pieces. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.